One of the reasons we actually moved to DNA Nexus was to support our collaborators. That scalability and being able to burst. We needed 6,000 cores for a couple of days and then never again. It's just incredible to meet the amazing groups that are using the platform and seeing how just enormous the scope of some of the work is. I thought I knew everything there was to know about all this, but I certainly learned a few new tricks too, so I really got a lot out of the developer workshop. It's surprising, it's great. DNA Nexus is this kind of platform or village creation where everyone can get together and collaborate. People are really sharing how they're using the platform, which really educates people all over the world on the best ways to use it and take advantage of all the value it provides. What I've seen happening at this conference is people who have been using the platform and been incredibly happy with it in one context have all of a sudden started meeting people who are using it in a whole, totally different way. And people have come up and have said, I had no idea we could do all of these things, or I had no idea this was going on on the platform. It's really dramatically increased everyone's appreciation for what's possible and has broadened people's horizons for what they can do. What's great about DNA Nexus Connect is all of our DNA Nexus users coming together, sharing their experiences, and being able to connect with each other all in one place. This was an opportunity for me to interact uh, and interface with a lot of people from industry and different pharmaceutical groups that I don't usually get a chance to interact with in a standard academic environment. I'm really impressed by the quality of the community that's come up around DNA Nexus and the openness of it as well. It seems like a group that really prides itself in, in doing open work and, and sharing the results of what they're doing to the community. In addition to the nice talks, part of the fun about being here is that I've got to meet a lot of people who I've, I've worked with remotely and people who are interested in DNA sequencing and analysis. Some of the most interesting things that can happen are when data is shared and disseminated. So this, the information is, is liberated and exchanged, but for that to happen, you have to meet people. The sense of community, the sense of the number of brilliant investigators, of passionate champions who are doing a whole range of incredibly important do very different things on the platform. There are people who are from pharma, who are from hospitals, who are part of large consortia, who are from diagnostic companies, uh, people who are from government organizations, and everyone is trying to use some related aspects of the platform to drive their science forward. And it's a privilege to be part of a community that has such vision and passion.